Turn around number two. Okay, we start with hitting the low E string. Then we put a forefinger on the G string, four or fifth fret, and then we slide it up all the way up to the seventh fret. Then we put our second finger on the B string, fifth fret, and our first finger on the high E string, fourth fret. So we have low E string, slide up to the seventh fret G string. B string 5th fret, high E string 4th fret. And with my right hand, I go down, and then down, down, up. Then we take off our 4th finger, and we put our 3rd finger on the G string 6th fret. And we go G, B, high E. So down, down, up. And we take off our second and third finger, and we put a second finger on the G string fifth fret, and a third finger on the B string fifth fret. And again, G, B, high E. So down, down, up. Okay, so now we get this low E string. Take a D chord all the way up to the fourth fret so that it becomes an E chord, E major chord. So your first finger is on the G string fourth fret, second finger on the high E string fourth fret, and your third finger on the B string fifth fret. Strum those three strings simultaneously, the G, B, and high E. Now we have this. get a D dominant 7 chord and we take that all the way up to the 8th fret so that becomes an A dominant 7 so our first finger is on the B string 8th fret second finger on the G string 9th fret and third finger on the high E string 9th fret strum those three strings simultaneously and then go up a half step with that chord to the 9th fret and another half step to the 10th fret. So you get A down a 7, A sharp down a 7, B down a 7. Like that. Okay, from the top. I'm oh, sorry. Okay.